As a part of Jamaica Video Guide series, today we're going to visit one of the secret attractions in Jamaica. It's located in a privately owned lagoon close to Negril, known as Half Moon Beach. But what makes this place unique is this little bar in the sea. It is called Kalika Jack Pirate Shack. Even if you are not into the history of the Caribbean, you definitely know that the island of Jamaica used to be the key figure during the so-called Golden Age of Piracy. This is where pirates would make their hideouts and spammed gold lavishly. Kalika Jack Pirate Shack, which is also known as Pirate Bar, was built on a tiny island in the sea to give this atmosphere where people can relax, pretend to be pirates while getting some absolutely delicious meals cooked right there, or going on a snorkeling trip. By visiting this attraction, you actually have an access to several things. It's Half Moon Beach itself, which is a beautiful lagoon hidden in a tropical forest. If you come in the morning, I'd suggest to spend an hour or two enjoying the beach. Note, the water is very shallow, so even if you cannot swim or have little kids, it's just a perfect place for you. There is also a restaurant by the beach. It's rustic and looks very simple, but their chef is doing a great job with this Jamaican-style lobster there. The beach and the restaurant would be enough to give you wonderful relaxing time with your family and friends. But there comes the main attraction, the Pirate Bar. Oh, this is... <laughs> you practice that! Wow, this is so awesome! The boat trip takes about 5-10 minutes directly from Half Moon Beach. In case you're worried about going on a boat, there are life vests provided. The island can be used as a base for snorkeling by the reef nearby while you're waiting for a fresh catch to be grilled right there. As 
for negative sides, sometimes the sea gets really rough, which can prevent you from visiting the island. It rarely happens, but as any attraction outside, it can depend on weather. Because the sea by Hoffman Beach is very shallow, those who want to go for a proper swim will have to do it from the pirate bar area closer to the reef. Yeah, man! Let me just stand up. I don't, nobody move, nobody get hurt. Okay, man. Yeah. Go back some more. Go back some more now. The time for now, Julia. The prices for food in Kalikajak Pirate Bar would be slightly higher than on the beach itself, so make sure to ask for menu in advance to get an idea about prices and see which option you would prefer most, at the Pirate Bar or by the beach. By the way, the entrance fees. It would cost around 5 US dollars to enter the beach, an additional 5 dollars for a round boat trip to Kalikajak Bar. And here I would like to share a little bit of history about the name of the bar. Kalikajak Pirate Bar is located close to Bloody Bay. As the legend goes, apparently many pirate battles were held there. People were killed that turned water red. A pirate named Kalika Jack and his band of ruffians were captured along the bay and hanged close to Negril. However, this is not entirely true. Pirate battles were all around Jamaica, not just here. Yes, Bloody Bay got its name because of blood, but not the pirate blood. It was a port used by 19th century whalers who butchered their catch there. The whales were towed in to be disemboweled, and it is sad that the waters of the bay frequently ran red with their blood, hence the name. As for Kalikajak, well, yes, he was a historical figure, famous for a few things. The real name is John Rackham, a notorious English pirate who earned the nickname Kalika Jack because of his taste for clothes made of brightly colored Indian Kalika cloth. Mr. Rackham. Uh, 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 now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Oi, oi, find a long face. You fallen in love with your blouse. <laughs> He had been serving under renowned Captain Charles Vane in the early part of 1718, until he betrayed the captain and together with all the 90 pirates captured the ship. Kalika Jack was voted as a captain. Lads! Ah, see, uh, the boys and I had a bit of counsel and, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie him up! Rackham was one of the less successful pirates, and most of his victims were fishermen and lightly armed traders. Nevertheless, he is remembered by history because of two female pirates, Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed, who served under his command. Kalika Jack also left one other legacy, his flag. You see, pirates of that time made their own flags, usually black or red with white or red symbols in them. Rackham's flag was not an exception. It was black with a white skull over two crossed swords. However, it is this banner that has gained worldwide popularity as the pirate flag, and we now know it as Jolly Roger. Kalika Jack terrorized the waters of the Caribbean, and yes, he was captured in Jamaica. But it actually happened in Puerto Seco, an English dry port or dry bay. The area currently known as Discovery Bay. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. Rackham was tried and hanged in November 1720 in Port Royal, and his body was put on display on a small islet near the entrance of Port Royal Harbour to serve as an example to all pirates. Today, this islet in Jamaica holds his name and is known as Rackham's Cay. Centuries have passed and today people view pirates as these characters for entertainment, while others romanticize piracy as some sort of essence of freedom. But what a ship is, what the Black Pearl really is, is freedom.
with such infamous pirates who used to live around Jamaica like Anne Bonnie, Calica Jack, Blackbeard and Captain Morgan who was once even the governor of Jamaica. You might expect to see some of that history in a form of a tourist product. However, you will find almost nothing related to piracy in Jamaica. I wonder about the reasons. Is it because most pirates were of European descent and most of them were indeed horrible people? So basically nothing to be proud of? Or is it because modern Jamaicans do not associate themselves with the golden age of piracy for the obvious reasons? Why there is nothing about piracy in Jamaica? Even Port Royal, the capital of piracy, is not marketed this way. I'd love to hear your ideas. Please share them in the comment section down below. And also let me know, would you be interested in visiting some truly pirate-themed attractions in Jamaica, either for adults or for children? And what do you think about Kalika Jack Pirate Bar as an example of such an attraction? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irina and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. This way to the dock. Yeah, walked you down. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, come on down, it's going to be a good night tonight. <laughs>